Turn the laser unit and check that it is not jammed or blocked. So, hello guys, welcome once again to a new video. Today we will work on this Roborock S5 unit. Um, I think you already saw what is the problem with it. The, the LiDAR unit is stuck. I try to, to move it with my hand and uh, it's uh, spinning quite uh, easy. So I don't think it's congested or blocked in some case. But uh, yeah, we will open this unit and see exactly why this is not spinning. Um, also, in the in the app, I received the same uh, the same error here that it's error number one, meaning that the the laser unit the uh, LDS I think it's called it's stuck. So. Let's open it up and see if we can uh, repair this unit. Okay, so first of all, we will remove the dust bin from here, and then this this mask should come quite easy. It's only rip held in place by some clips. That's it. You see the clips here. We managed to not bend and or destroy neither of them. And here we have some uh, screws. These are Philips head screws. So let's start with the hinges first. We have three on one side and three on the other side. Okay, and these hinges now are free. Mm -hmm. and here, and one here, and now. This door is also free. And here is the part that covers the LiDAR unit. We have one screw here. And here underneath these covers, we still have additional screws. So for this, we need something smaller. Here is another screw. And now we have the cover off. 
here we have four additional screws that um, keeps in place this spinning ladder. Sorry about the, the toddler noise. And here is the module, as you can see, well, the part that it's uh, mainly causing the problem is uh, this motor, but we will see if this is really has to be jump started or it's only, only uh, that the, the motor is, um, it's, um, yeah fully blown out. In case the motor is uh, it's bad, <laughs> then we will have to uh, order an additional motor. This is only five bucks on AliExpress, so it's not that big of a deal to change. But let's see if uh, uh, this will work. For this, I will use my power supply and I will feed um, five volts to it. So, red to red, but first let's put it on four point six volts. So yeah, looks like the the head unit is working. So the motor is not the problem. I see a little bit of wiggle, but I don't think this is the the problem here. Let's try to to put it again in, inside and see if this uh, really fixes the problem. But before, let's try and uh, clean with some isopropyl alcohol uh, these contacts here. To be sure that uh, it's not a contact uh, problem. Let's use a cotton wipe. Unfortunately here I cannot enter with any isopropyl alcohol, but um, we can remove the, the dust from the later unit.
let's put back the screws and we can go and test if we did something good here oh come on Okay, I think this is enough for the moment. Let's uh, go and test the unit like it is. All right, so we are back and let's test it like it is. Let's power it on first. Powering. Searching for Wi Fi. I'm really curious if this is only the problem. Okay, Wi Fi received. Let's clean. Starting to clean. We have a spin, and yes. working okay 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 so we have a success Let's uh, go clean it a little bit and uh, put it all back together. All right, so you saw uh, now it's working fine. Looks like only a jump start to the motor was necessary. This is a simple fix. In case the jump start for the motor is not working, then more or less uh, you will need to change the motor. As I said, this is not a big deal. You can find this motor for uh, five bucks on aliexpress and it's really easy to change you need only to solder two um, two wires and remove two screws from here and yeah that's it all right so now i will go ahead and clean everything uh, of dust and then put everything back uh, back together i will speed up uh, this this process and yeah, uh, enjoy the, the sp uh, sp speed up uh, process and consider subscribing to my channel or uh, giving a thumbs up. So thank you very much. Enjoy.